first question from Mr. Guy Busby from Baldwin Register. The, um, the state guidelines, and I guess I'll just I guess start with Ms. Newcomb. Uh, state guidelines recommend that felony cases be res resolved generally within one year. In Baldwin County, we've got about one out of three felony cases that have not been resolved within a year compared to about one out of ten in Mobile. What, uh, what's the reason for this and what can be done to, to resolve it? As I took over as the district attorney's um, office, at the time that I was appointed district attorney in 2006, we were the second lowest funded district attorney's office in the state. So, of course, we were severely limited in our personnel. And therefore, that was one of my criteria, which was to increase our funding, which we did with a local bill, and to increase staff, workspace, victim advocacy. Since I have taken over, we have prosecuted in excess of 4,000 felony cases a year, 30,000 misdemeanor cases a year. We've had a 30% increase in criminal filings. We have kept pace with that filing. We have focused on uh, major violent crimes and child sex cases and working on the backlog. And I expect the qualified and increasing staff that we have been able to employ due to increased funding and with the courts bringing in visiting judges, we will be able to bring more cases to trial. The district attorney's office has done what it can do largely for the backlog. Uh, discoveries done in our cases, offers are out in the cases that can be settled. But I believe certain criminals need to go to jail. And those criminals don't want to plead guilty if they're facing jail. And therefore, the choice is a trial. And that we've had a severe, also lack of the number of judges. I mean, we're 10 years behind our caseload in the number of judges that we should have in Baldwin County. So to, while having visiting judges come in, prosecutors available to try cases will help the backlog some, the increase in the number of judges is going to be the final solution. All right, thank you, Mr. Green. Two minutes. Uh, it's a good question. It's a very serious problem that faces our community. We have over four and a half million visitors a year to this area. Um, that's not going away. The reality is that we have to approach the situation from a different perspective. Yes, accomplishments have been made in, in the improvement of efficiency. Are they sufficient? They don't appear to be satisfactory based on, based on recent articles. Uh, in the Mobile Register addressing that issue, ranking Baldwin County behind Mobile. I too was raised here. It's very important to me. The safety and security of our community is important to me. I don't come from a government uh, background. I come from the private sector. Efficiency is not optional. It's mandatory. I want to bring a common sense, mandatory, efficient business approach to the prosecution of cases in Baldwin County. We'll work with law enforcement, attorneys, offices throughout the southeast. I know what it takes to establish positive cooperation with the players in the game. Judges, obviously, as Ms. Nuka mentioned, uh, that is an issue. I believe I have the ability to put the team together to solve the problem because I believe it's a fundamental approach where we... It's as though we've established a complacency about our willingness to accept prosecution rates and efficiencies because of the budget crisis and because of the population issue. Baldwin County's not getting smaller, it's growing. We have to approach and attack this problem much more aggressively. Ms. Dixon, your two minutes. Two of those priorities that I want to restore to the district attorney's office is better swift of justice. The second thing is experienced committed prosecutors. Mr. Green is right. Um, there has to be a business sense. I ran my own practice, successful practice, uh, for more than five years. You have to have a business sense and an ability to administer the job. But we also have to realize this isn't just a business. Every court file that goes through that district attorney's office affects the lives of not just the defendant, not just the victim. It affects the law enforcement officers out there who are working late nights to get it ready. It affects the witnesses who have to take time off to come in. It affects the families. So I think the key is we have to put in place 
a process to identify the cases that don't deserve jail time that aren't going to go to jail. Let's identify them quickly. Let's plea them, get them in front of the judge. Let's get them resolved. That way, we can spend our time and effort on those people that do need to go to jail. Ms. Newcomb's right. There are defendants, there are criminals who need to go to prison. We need to be spending our time and effort on them. The way to have it is by quickly and efficiently getting rid of those cases early and getting those defendants that are going to get probation in front of a court. I have a process. I've talked about it with judges and defense attorneys and uh, law enforcement. One of the things I will do as your district attorney is put a new process of handling cases into effect. That's all.